Experiencing the outdoors is a wonderful thing, but sometimes someone on the hill can become injured and requires medical assistance. Mountain Rescue is one of the go-to life-saving organisations in the UK that you would call upon to get help. If you don't have first aid experience, don't worry. You can still help us a lot by giving us the Ethane Report. The Ethane is an acronym that we use and it's simple, easy to deliver and will give EMS a clear enough picture to act accordingly. I eat more acronyms than I've had sandwiches in Mountain Rescue and Ethane is no exception. So what does it all stand for? Well, the E to start off with stands for exact location. Then we want the type of injury, the hazards, access, the number of casualties and the emergency services required. In the scenario you're about to watch, Karina, one of our team members, will illustrate how to perform an ethane report on her casualty who has sustained a lower leg injury, one of the classics we go to in Mountain Rescue. Before calling for the emergency services, make sure you have sufficient phone battery and a notepad and a pen and good signal. You may need to pass your ethane report to someone who can go and find a good signal. This may be a passerby or another member of your walking group. Exact location. There are multiple ways to tell the emergency services your location. Grid reference. Mountain Rescue England and Wales recommend you always carry a map and compass when going for a hike and have sufficient knowledge on how to use them. Karina is finding her position and writing it down. A six figure grid reference gives us a really good location of where you are. A grid reference is the go-to method of accurately pinpointing your location. Apps. Now there are multiple apps that can be really helpful. We don't want you to be too reliant on your mobile phone, but apps can be used very quickly to identify your location. However, obviously they're dependent on your phone's battery life and signal coverage. Here are a few apps that we recommend you using to identify your location and help us find you. It's always a good idea to have some local knowledge and a quick way of telling EMAS of your location without a grid reference is by using nearby key features and identifiable locations. Make sure these features are close to you and relevant to your area. Once you've pinpointed your location, the next step is to quickly identify the casualty's injury. Type of injury. Make sure to always communicate with the casualty and make them feel as comfortable as possible. Without causing them any pain, ask them where the pain is and write down what they tell you. Keep your notes brief and concise. Hazards. Recognising surrounding hazards is important, as is the knowledge for us, the rescuing services, to have so we can prepare to take the right equipment onto the hill and also know what we're going into. Have a look around and recall any potential hazards along the route to you. Important hazards to note, for example, are steep slopes, high winds, avalanche prone areas, crags, strong flowing rivers, power lines, anything like that. Access. You may be able to provide a faster route to your location, or perhaps you can recommend a route that will get EMAS to your location faster and more direct. Look at your map and give your route recommendation. Number of casualties. This may be as simple as one injured person or you may have another developing casualty. Consider everyone around you in your group that may be getting cold or panicking about the well-being of the casualty. And finally, emergency services required. Write down what service you require to help the casualty in the wild and remote place. In the UK, this may be mountain rescue, might be cave rescue, the coast guard or water rescue. Consider which services would be best for the situation the casualty is in. If you don't know, don't worry. The person at the end of the phone should be able to help you. And remember to complete an ethane report as quickly and act in the best interest of the casualty. Practice writing a report so you can be ready for any unforeseen circumstances. Remember to remain prepared for the hills and stay safe. Here is team member Karina demonstrating an ethane report. My exact location is Sierra Kilo 06196 70860. Um, the type of injury I have, it's an ankle injury, so the couch is breathing and he's talking to me, but he can't walk. Hazards around, there's no, no hazards around here on an open bit of uh, waste ground. 
Um, the access I would suggest when you arrive is perhaps um, parking down at the Parks Inn at Harper Hill and from the pub there's a cycle track that comes up behind which is the way um, I was walking and when you get to the top of the hill you turn right along the track and keep walking along there and then there's a left hand track that brings you out in front of these quarry faces um, but I could perhaps meet you uh, to guide you into the patient there. Um, there's just yeah just the one casualty and um, I think we probably require mountain rescue because he's on this rough ground. I don't think the ambulance staff are, are going to cope very well and he can't walk so um, yeah I think we're going to require a stretcher carry so mountain rescue um, and perhaps ambulance staff to, to look at the injury.